Alright, welcome back everyone to another Tech Zone video. And today I'm going to be showing you how to create a, a really nice intro in Adobe uh, After Effects, which looks like this. So this was request, requested by one of my subscribers. The name is on the screen. And uh, I'm going to show you how to create it in Adobe After Effects. Now the reason why this won't work in Vegas Pro is because it was what he saw was made in After Effects. We had to make it in there. And to make it exactly like that, you'll have to pay for some plugins, and it'll take like a really long time to make. So I'm going to uh, show you a shorter version, which I showed you, showed you right now. So let's make a new composition. 10 seconds, uh, 30 frames per second if you like. Click OK. And you're going to right click, New, Solid. Leave everything as it is. Now go to Effect, Generate, Ramp. This will create a gradient background. And if I'm going too fast, just pause or rewind the video. Uh, the star color, however, is going to be dark blue. I'm going to make it exactly like my one. The end color is going to be black. Now, I'm going to go to New, Solid, and now we're going to make the particles. So go to Effect, uh, Simulation, CC Particle World. Now the grid is going to be off. The longevity is going to be 3 seconds because each particle is going to last for 3 seconds. It's going to appear. Now open the drop down menu for physics. Velocity is going to be 0. Wait. Gravity is going to be 0. And um, what else is there? Okay, particle, we're going to change it to a shaded sphere. Now on the timeline, just drag the track a little back, and you can see it's already formed. Now just drag it back until you see this, and just stop it right there. So that the uh, video starts from the point where it has already uh, made some particles. <coughs> okay, so uh, go to producer, radius X, just drag it. It should be spread out. You're going to spread the particles to the way you want it. I'll put Y is it 6. Z creates that 3D background. So it's really important that you put radius Z. Or if you want. Birth rate, I'll increase it a bit more. There we go. 4.6. So, particle, change the color to purple. And that color will also be purple. Increase the birth size. Passy. There we go. We're done. To look around, right click, new, camera, uh, 35 millimeter. Uh, click the camera tool, and you can browse around. Okay, so now to make the fog. To add a fog, it's the same thing. Add another solid. CC particle world. That's simulation. CC particle world. Grid is off. Remember, if I'm going too fast, pause the video. So, longevity again, three seconds. Just do the same steps as before. Velocity. Okay, particle this time is going to be faded sphere. And then um, go back to producer and do the same thing. Although I can't really, oh yeah, you have to drag the track. There we go. So now we can see. Okay. So radius Y, radius Z. This time just put it a little bit. So that you can put the fog either close together if you want. So back to particles. This time, the birth size is going to be pretty large. Like so. Uh, 3.4. Opacity is going to be a little less. Okay, the fog looks ugly. Let's change the color. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. Let's check the camera. I think I better increase the birth size a bit. 
good. That's about it. Okay, that's good. Now we need to add the text. So, right click, new, text. Let's type in intro. Gonna move that. Whoa, okay. Oh, make the text 3D. So, okay, we can move the camera. Now here's the important thing. If you want to get that, uh, orbit effect for the camera, this is what you're going to do. Open the drop, uh, double click on the camera. Zoom, just double click on it. I'm going to say it to 100 for the zoom. Click it. Now just see. So it's going to be like this now. It, this is one hell of a nice effect for your video. So, uh, really looks cool, but the text looks ugly. So, uh, click on the text layer. I'm just gonna zoom in a bit. And, effect, simulate, oh wait, sorry, stylize, glow. So, before doing anything, glow, glow colors is gonna be A and B colors, so you can put custom colors to it. Color A, it's gonna be purple, color B, same. Uh, glow intensity, I have to change that to, radius, that too. So we have pretty much created a nice looking intro. And let's uh, duplicate the layer, control C, control V. Let's move that up. Like after a few seconds, the camera moves up to move onto the second one. So let's check out the camera. Rotation tool. Okay, not that way. Okay, that's good. So, let's start from here. Camera, uh, transform. You're gonna set the timer for all these to add the keyframes. So it's gonna start from here. One second later, it's gonna go like this. Another second, it's gonna go up like so and in the next second I'm just gonna move it a bit it's not gonna look as perfect as it can be you can do the rest on your own and finally to make the keyframes look perfect what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight all the keyframes that are gonna be there in the future uh, future so hold shift and select all the keyframes. Right click, uh, keyframe interpolation, Tempor temporal interpolation will be Bezier. So every keyframe it pauses and then continues on. So that's about it. You can add the rest on your own. Hope you enjoyed the video and now at the end I'm going to show you how it looks like. So that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, why don't you subscribe for more? So thanks for watching and have a great day.